Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm excited to tell you that I've added two new report pages to my Google Analytics report. One page will be dedicated to the new decomposition tree visual that just came out with this month's Power BI desktop update. And the other page is dedicated to the site speed analytics and statistics. So let's hop into Power BI and I'll show you around the report. So as I mentioned, the goal of this video is to walk through the two new report pages that I have, specifically the decomposition tree and the site speed pages over here. If you want to know about the rest of the pages in here, I'll link you to the video that actually walks through the initial report that I built back earlier this summer. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So one of my favorite new visuals that just came out with Power BI that is currently in preview mode is the decomposition tree visual. This visual is a fantastic way to kind of see the outliers and the areas where you have the most or least values falling within any categories or subcategories. In this case, you can see that for my metric selection, which I'll talk about in a second, the most page views goes to my files and templates page, which is within the Americas and then the United States and all the way down to state region, city and source. And what I've actually built out in here is a lot of different fields that you can use. Um, but to start with, I also have something up here that actually lets you choose what metric selection you're looking at. So page views is selected. That's what's going to be broken down in the decomposition tree. But I can also change that to unique page views. And you'll see that the data changes. I can do that for organic searches as well. And you can see that actually now a different page has organic searches pretty highly up there. Um, but you can now see that the flow has followed a little bit of a different path. Same with new site visitors and also average session time as well. So all of those can be broken down into here uh, as far as that selection goes and allowing you to toggle between any of them, which is really, really nice. Um, now let me go ahead and actually collapse these down so I can walk you through this a little bit again. So the nice thing you have with this visual is the fact that you can click a plus thing here, choose a higher low value, or otherwise just show you the breakout of this value by any of these fields that I have included in here from the Google Analytics data. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to go ahead and just you know go to continent. Uh, there's the Americas, and then I can plus that out from there. I can now go down to anything else. Um, I could even go to language if I wanted to, uh, rather than having to go to um, country. And then I could go to quarter year or year. Um, so any breakouts that I want to get uh, for this data, I can mix and match and choose both by the fields that I provide these breakouts for, for insights, and as well as what metric am I going to be using. So it's a really nice way to do further analysis on your data, similar to that key influencers visual that I also added earlier this year as well. And that last page that I added additionally was the site speed data. I did have a few requests from people to be able to get further analysis on the speed and performance of the site as well. So what I brought that in as far as all of that data, um, and again, broken that down with a slicer at the top to actually let you choose uh, which information you're going to look at. Um, this is the same information typically displayed on the Google Analytics site speed page. So you have average page load time, average redirection time, domain lookup time, server connection time, response time, and average load time. And everything you see here is within seconds. So in this case, average uh, page load time is about seven seconds, which depending on some OSs seems to be taking a little bit of time. I'm actually going to be looking to improve that for my own site. Uh, but all of these are within second response times uh, in here. And if you select any of these, say go from average page to redirection, you'll notice that the titles for all of these do change and then the data in here changes as well. Uh, the one thing that does not is the table down here for the details at the bottom, but it does again give you that flexibility to then change the selections and all of this. You can see actually the tablet Safari for domain lookup is significantly slower for whoever's using this apparently for my site data than others, but really quick insights can come up with this stuff. So you have a nice wide range of flexibility for mixing and matching your data and just digging into performance evaluations for it. And last but not least, the other big thing that I've done um, with this is I've actually moved away from the bookmark pane over here, which I do really like in a lot of situations, but the maintenance cost is very high. So instead, I have included a filters pane that has all of those filters over there as well, but um, broken down into a couple of different selections that you have. So you have filters that are on this page, filters on all pages, and then that gives you the range to then mix and match and filter your data as needed uh, page by page. And this report is available in my file store to purchase. I will link you to the file store over here on the right. And one thing I will mention is if you have purchased this previously, go ahead and email me or contact me through my website or LinkedIn. Um, and if you had purchased it before, I will give you a coupon code so you don't have to pay the full price. You're essentially going to buy the two new pages that come with it. And that about covers it for this video. If you liked this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for another video, add that to the comments down below. 
And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.